So we're here in one of the museum star where we keep the Van der Waal drawings safe. They are protected from light and the environment, temperature and humidity are controlled to make sure they are safe. The Van der Waal had so many drawings in their studio. We already have 1500 at the Maritime Museum, so we can imagine that they had a system to organize them in their studio for people to find them more easily. In some of the drawings, especially the long one, the seascapes, and a long strip of paper, we can find stains at regular interval. And this is an indication for us to know that the drawings were stored rolled at some point in time. So because these are water stain, we are curious to know if this could have happened at sea, because this is one of the drawings that Van der Velde the Elder made at sea. If the stain contains salt, it could have potentially been wet from seawater. This side, on the left side, was the exterior part of the roll and got wet more than the inside part of the roll that was more protected from the water. In some of our drawings, we find some pinholes at uh, regular spaces. And this is also an indication that this drawing could have been bound together as a little pamphlet. We can imagine, for instance, that the drawing would be kept by a type of ship or different theme that the Van der Velde would want to refer to on a regular basis. We know that some of the drawings were in proximity to paintings. For instance, on some of them, we have oil stain, like a jar accidentally fell on one of the drawings, or on another one, we found a circular stain that let us imagine that maybe a pot full of oil was uh, placed on top of the drawing. We can also find oily fingerprints, which is quite a nice insight of what could happen in the studio. On some other drawing, we also find inscription, or maybe more like instruction to other people in the studio. We can imagine a note to some of the assistants with information about colors or lights that could translate from the drawing to the painting.